Okay, let's keep it a ruthless, okay? I see a lot of these Niners content creators doing some drafts and all that stuff, and I see some other topics about this player, okay? Um, I like this prospect. Don't get me wrong. But when you watch his film, J.L. Scanners is more of a strong safety. He's a hybrid player. He can play the Sam Backer. And he can be the kind of guy that would be good on your defense. But the problem with him is he's not a single high safety. So you need to do more of the research. I'm not trying to be a smart ass. I'm not a draft expert. I'm not a draft genius. But it takes a fucking fan to understand what a player fits. You look at JL Skinner's, you see the physicality. It's elite. He gives you the presence of knocking somebody out. He gives you more of an old school style of a hitter. And he kind of takes it at the next level. So, the question is, I don't know what he can be. I just look at him as a mystery. He can be a strong safety. He can be a linebacker. But I don't see where he can be a free safety. That could be problems right there. He needs to make the adjustments when it comes down to coverage. But when you watch his highlight films, you see a little bit of his coverage. But he wasn't asked to cover as much going to Boise State. So you have to like realize, as a football perspective, you have to understand... This guy is not going to come into the Niners unless we have plans with Hufunga. Unless Hufunga can switch positions and play free safety. But I don't see it happening. That's why we have Gibson for. Is it possible we could get Skinner? It just doesn't seem like a fit. Like, don't get me wrong. Skinner's is probably one of those interesting prospects. He's, he's a big, tall safety. He's a physical type of guy. He he gives you that excitement that you love in a football player. A guy that would just knock your ass out. And he'll, he'll just come and play. If we draft him, if we tend to draft him, then I can see something that they see in this guy. Maybe he can improve his coverage. Maybe there's something they can develop with this kid. Maybe that's a perfect developmental guy that they can have, get some playing time, and then next year replace Gibson's spot and then moves to that position. And and maybe he does really well. We'll never know. But that's a safety need. That's a future need that we can definitely consider. But is it possible that we could get him? I don't know. You have to do more of the film. You got to do more of the tape. You got to watch his film. You have to know where he's, where he excels the most. Strong safety is one of his strongest suits. You can even put him at linebacker. Certain spots. He gives you some blitz package. And he can definitely... He can definitely make a good hit on those plays. Sometimes those type of hits, he knocks the ball out or forces fumbles. He gives you a Cam Chancellor type vibe. You know, he's going to give you that tone setting hit. He's going to let you know that you're in his territory. He's going to knock your ass out. And that's going to be the kind of guy that if somebody drafts him, he's going to be a fucking good baller. The concern factor is... I would hate to see him go to Seattle because he'll give me some Cam Chancellor fucking vibes. It's like going back in time. Cam Chancellor is coming back. This is a reincarnation of Cam Chancellor coming to Seattle, and that would be a nightmare. This would be like another guy fucking knocking our player out, and it would be uncalled for. I would try to see what we can do to get this guy. I wouldn't be upset about the pick. I wouldn't be upset about us drafting him. It's just I would want to see where we put him at. Maybe I'm wrong about the free safety spot, but he was playing strong safety. He's in the box. 
But I would love for this guy to go, to play for us. I wouldn't be upset about it. I would just scratch my head a little bit. Like, why did we pick him? And then maybe I could understand where they can put him at. I just look at the role. He can play strong safety. He can be your transition to linebacker. Or do a little bit of everything. Versatility is very important. And he has the elite traits of a physicality. He is good in some ways. Maybe he is going to be good at covering. But a lot of free safeties are not that big. But maybe with him, he can be a difference maker. Maybe he, you get him as a guy that you can slowly develop. And then next year, he becomes your starter. And then the transition from free safety probably won't be as hard. Maybe he'll get a chance to learn... I mean, watch and learn and pick up the knowledge and then maybe starts to improve more of his, of his game. I think that could be an interesting prospect for the Niners to draft. You know, if we draft this kid, I wouldn't, I wouldn't oppose this. I'd be okay with it. Just so if we get him, it would be to just take him away from Seattle. It would be just the way to say, nope. We're not letting you get one of these type of guys. We're gonna take them off your hands before you get them. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna make this guy knock your best players out of the game. We're gonna make this kid look like a fucking scary ass player, bro. We're gonna take the next Cam Chancellor off your hands, bro. This is the reincarnation of fucking Cam Chancellor, bro. You watch JL Skinner's, bro. I just think of Cam Chancellor, the fucking hits. It, it's crazy, bro. It, it, when you watch his highlights, I'll send. You, I'll put the link under the description. Watch his film. I'm not kidding, bro. This is a reincarnation of fucking Cam Chancellor. Think of the Legion of Boom. Think of that guy, bro. The guy is six foot four, two hundred twenty pounds, bro. This guy, you watch his film, bro. He lays out people, bro. Like I, I can't think of anybody. As close to a Cam Chancellor, but this kid, this kid lays out people. Like, I'm not kidding, bro. So think about it, man. Like, if we do draft him, it would be just a fucking take him away from our division. It would be sweet to see what happens. But uh, let me know what y'all think, man. It's just something I needed to correct. Maybe there's something they can develop with. If they do draft him, I'm hoping he can develop the transition to be a cover safety. Then maybe that would be a, a, a silence of my doubt. But that's pretty much my only question mark is he wasn't quite a single high safety. You know what I mean? But hey, let me know what y'all think in the comments. And as always, I'll keep y'all posted. And go Niners.